Welcome to F1 Explained, where we break down the fascinating world of Formula One in a way everyone can understand. Today, we're looking at a major story that's causing quite a stir, something called Flexi Wings, and why nearly half the teams on the grid are in hot water with F1's governing body. Let's start with the basics. Every F1 car has wings, a front wing at the nose and a rear wing at the back. These aren't for flying, they're actually pushing the car down onto the track to help it grip through corners. But there's a catch. These same wings slow the car down on straight sections of track. This creates a dilemma for teams. Do they build stiff wings for maximum cornering speed or more streamlined wings for straight line speed? Well, some clever engineers figured out, why not both? What they've created are wings that appear completely legal and rigid when inspected in the garage but that bend or flex in specific ways when the car is racing at high speeds. This flexing reduces drag on straights, making the car faster where it counts. Think of it like having a secret button that makes part of your wing disappear on straights, then reappear for corners, except there's no button. It happens automatically from the air pressure at high speeds. This week, the FIA, that's Formula One's governing body, revealed something shocking. According to Nicholas Tambazis, their technical chief, Four or five teams had wings that didn't meet their new, stricter standards. That's nearly half the grid. What exactly were they measuring? Something called the slot gap, the space between the main part of the rear wing and the adjustable flap on top. Previously, this gap could flex up to two millimeters when tested. Now, the FIA has slashed that to just 0.5 millimeters. That's about the thickness of five sheets of paper. For the average viewer, these might seem like tiny differences, and they are. But in F1, where races are often decided by hundredths of a second, these little tricks can make the difference between winning and losing. So how are they catching these flexible wings? The FIA is getting creative. They've mounted special high-definition cameras on cars to watch how the wings move during actual racing. They're combining this video evidence with physical tests where they push and pull on different parts of the wing to see how much they bend. Here's why this matters to everyone watching races this season. These wing changes could shake up the competitive order. Teams that were relying on these flexible wings might suddenly lose performance. Others who weren't using this trick might move up the rankings. And this isn't the end of the story. The FIA is planning to introduce even more tests for the front wings, starting at the Spanish Grand Prix in June. So the technical battleground is constantly shifting. The teams haven't been officially named, but they now face a tough choice. Either quickly redesign their wings, which cost time and money, or continue racing with wings that might be slower on track. This is what makes Formula One so fascinating. It's not just drivers racing each other, it's a battle of engineering minds, with teams constantly looking for creative interpretations of the rules to find that extra bit of speed. In simple terms, teams found a way to make their wings rigid in testing, but bendy on track. The FIA caught them and changed the rules. Now those teams need to adapt or lose performance. Thanks for watching F1 Explained. If you found this helpful, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share with friends who are trying to understand the technical side of Formula One. Leave a comment below with other F1 topics you'd like us to break down in future videos.